Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Jason with the Humble Beginnings Homestead. Today's video, we are going to talk about the top five things that I've learned about having a bottle calf. Also, stay tuned at the end of this video. When we get done, we're going to be picking the name of our new baby calf. I've asked you guys in my previous videos to come up with some suggestions. We put all those suggestions in a bowl here today, and we're going to go ahead and give this little girl a name. a quick update I picked up a baby um, what the hell is she called? I picked up a baby Jersey calf so we plan on uh, raising her up so that she'll produce mi uh, milk for us here on the homestead we've had her for about three weeks now and she's doing good she's growing very exciting having her on the homestead. But if you've never had a calf before, like us, I've never owned a cow or raised a calf from a bottle, there's a few things that I've learned that I wanted to share with you guys. First thing, um, my advice is if you're thinking about getting a bottle calf, just do it. What's stopping you? Any animal on the homestead is a lot of fun, but a bottle calf is really fun. I will tell you this though, it will definitely give you responsibility. Having to get up early in the morning to feed this thing will definitely check your skills. <laughs> Luckily I'm used to getting up early in the morning to get my daughter off to the bus, but I do like to sleep in on those days that she doesn't go to school and there's not been any sleeping in for the last three weeks. So if you are gonna get a bottle calf, just kind of keep that in mind. It's like having a baby in the house again. You've gotta get on a routine, you've gotta get up early, and there's some responsibility there. So the five things that I've learned while having this baby calf on the farm so far is um, bottle calves have to be fed two to three times a day depending on their size. So luckily ours was pretty healthy when we got her and feeding her twice a day is is all that it's taken for us to keep her uh, to keep her growing. Calves are very routine. I've read that they like to be fed about or, or farmers like to feed their calves about 12 hours apart. So we'll feed her at uh, like 7 in the morning and then we feed her again at about 6 30 7 o'clock in the evening Obviously if you don't have the mama cow on the farm, you're gonna need something called milk replacer Now milk replacer is something that comes in a bag. It's a lot like formula like Formula like you would fix for your baby. It comes in powder form You would mix it up per the directions put it in the bottle and then you would feed your calf <clears throat> Second thing that I've learned about having a bottle calf on the farm is that calves will buck the bottle while you're feeding them. The first day, it was kind of cute. By the second and third day, it was kind of annoying. And I thought, well, maybe I'm doing something wrong. So after a little bit of research, I found out that calves will actually buck the mom's udder or the mom's milk sack <laughs> in order to drop down uh, more more milk. So if the calf is not getting milk fast enough or not getting enough milk, they're gonna buck the bottle just like they would their mom so that they can get some more milk. So it's perfectly natural, it's perfectly normal, expect it with a bottle calf. Uh, it, 
It's just in their nature. Third thing that I've learned about a bottle calf is they have to be weaned from the milk. What? <laughs> bottle calves will drink milk or drink from the bottle for about six to eight weeks, again, depending on their health and their weight. Eight weeks. I had no idea that it would take this long feeding a calf from the bottle. I thought we'd be feeding her for a couple weeks and then we would turn her off to pasture and she'd be grazing like a cow and all is good. Wrong. That's not how it works. So calves are going to be on the milk replacer for about six to eight weeks, again, depending on their size and their growth and their health. Um, within that six to eight week period, they're going to have to be weaned from the bottle. So this is a process that I've already started being as we've had her for um, about three weeks and she was supposed to be two weeks old when we got her. I'm going to say she was a week. So I'm going to say she's a month old. This week, what we've started doing is we've started the weaning process from the bottle. So I no longer feed her a bottle anymore. I actually feed her from a bucket. So I will make the milk just like I do per the directions for the bottle. And then I'm putting it in a bucket. So she's learning how to drink from a bucket and she's getting familiar with a bucket. That way, when we wean her to grain, she's used to being face down in a bucket instead of face up drinking a bottle. But she's also learning how to suck from a pail versus sucking from an, uh, a teat. That way she is learning how to drink water from a pail. So I've started the weaning process. Um, starting next week, we'll be weaning her from the milk and introducing more grain. She is eating grain right now, so I'm really proud of her. I think it's starting to help thicken her up, but we will be starting the weaning process next week. Um, fourth thing I've learned having a bottle calf on the farm. Calves, I kind of already said this, but calves don't eat grass. Um, I didn't know that. Calves do not have the ability to digest grass. It has something to do with the development of their rumen. Uh, rumen, I'm assuming, is a part of their stomach. <laughs> I haven't researched that too much. But they're going to be on milk. They're going to be on, or milk replacer. They're going to be on grain. And they're going to be on dry grass or hay for the first several months of their life before they're able, able to eat grass. Now, spoiler alert, mine's been eating a little bit of grass. <laughs> but it's just a little bit. On warm days, I like to get her outside so she can get in the sun. And I found out calves really like dandelions. She has picked out every dandelion in her little uh, outside pen that I've made for and I just thought it was the cutest thing that she's eating the flowers. Fifth thing that I've learned about raising a bottle calf. They're easy. They really are super easy. Calves don't need much to survive. They need a shelter. They need some bedding. And they need to be fed two to three times a day. And that really is it, guys. If you have kept up with my channel. I made a video a few months back about building a pig pen inside the barn. Well, I actually took that pig pen and turned it into a stall for the calf because we don't have pigs yet. I've laid some bedding down. I've got some, some hay in there for her to munch on. And I've got a little bit of water just in case they needs it. I'll give you a bonus tip about raising calves too. Calves don't drink water. Since when? Don't they get thirsty? That's what I thought. But apparently the two bottles of milk replacer a day is, is what they need to stay hydrated. Now if it's hot and it's summertime, I've heard that they will drink water, but for the most part, they don't drink water. So that's kind of a little bonus tip for you. Um, but Calves are super, super easy to take care of. I made her a stall in the barn. I go out there. I feed her in the morning. I come home from work for lunch. 
I make myself a sandwich, I go check on the calf, go back to work, come home in the evening, and then I feed her again. That's it. On warm days, I turn her out into a little, uh, little stall that I've made her outside. But that is it. It is super, super easy to take care of a bottle calf. So my best advice is, again, if you're thinking about getting a calf to raise for milk, just do it. They're very inexpensive. They're easy to raise. They're a lot of fun. And in nine to 12 months, you're going to have four to five gallons a day of milk <laughs> once, once, you, uh, once you get them pregnant. But uh, if you're going to do it, go ahead and do it. They're a whole lot of fun. I have thoroughly enjoyed my first experience with a bottle calf. Now, now it's time to pick out a name for this baby. I appreciate you guys all uh, pitching in. I've had people from work. I've had people within the family. I've had people on the YouTube channel that have suggested a few names. And we decided that we're not going to pick a name uh, ourselves. We want to do it together with you guys and be just as surprised as you guys. So here we go. Let's pick a name for this. Uh, let's pick a name for this calf. All right. That is the perfect name for this little girl since she likes to eat dandelions. So we have got a name. Daisy. Daisy the dairy cow. <laughs> I think that works perfect. This was from, uh, uh, this name was suggested by one of my subscribers. His name is Nick. Nick, I appreciate the, uh, the name suggestion. I think it's going to fit. I think it's going to work out perfectly. Thank you, Nick. Guys, as always, I appreciate you watching my videos. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Flick that notification bell and hit personalize. When you do that, that will notify you every time we upload a new video. And go ahead and drop us a comment if you like that name or if you have any other questions or suggestions about raising a bottle calf. Keep in mind, I am not a professional. I have never raised a calf before. I'm learning at the same time you guys are learning. Anything that I learn, I want to pass on to you guys to encourage you guys to grow your homestead as well. And any advice that you all have, I am way open-minded at um, listening to. Again, thank you guys so much. See you on the next video.